Hello and welcome to the 19th tutorial in the Bootstrap Free Series. In this part we're going to be looking at button group nesting. We'll be using the source code from the 16th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a button set up. Bootstrap provides an easy means for nesting items. This allows us to put other button groups inside, well, a button group. We are going to add a drop down to our button group. To implement this, it's extremely simple. Let's just go ahead and open up our index.html. And once it's open, let's scroll down and let's zoom in so you can see the button group. So this is the button group that we have at the moment. And what we're going to do, and we have this button type here, which is blah, blah, blah. Actually, what I'm going to do is just delete everything inside this button group. No, oh, sorry. No, that's not what we need to do. Inside here. Uh, we're going to actually be adding a button group. So we're going to put div class. I'll sort out the indentation in a second. Button dash group. Or slash div. And in here, we're still going to add a few more properties actually. We've got to do type. Oh, sorry, that's inside. But ah, it keeps going over there. Can't even see what I'm doing. I'm going to zoom in so I, so I can see the margin as well. Okay, there we go. Button. And this is going to be type button. The class is going to be button and not TBN. Button dash default. We're going to have a drop down dash toggle. As you can see right here, button drop down dash toggle. And this is going to have data dash toggle equals drop down. Scroll over so you can see it. And inside, we're going to have a few things inside the button. So let's put the closing button tag on a separate line. We're going to call it drop down. We're going to have a band tag. And this is going to take a class of carrot. This is going to be basically that little triangle that says or indicates to the user that you can click it and something will come out. But inside here, we don't need to put anything at all. And that's it for the button. But now we're just going to do the actual menu itself that pops down. So I'm going to do UL. And in here, we're going to do a bunch of list items. One thing I just forgot, we need to add a class and role to this. This is going to be drop down menu. Again, all these classes that were added, they're all built into Bootstrap, so we don't need to deal with them. Menu. And this, there's no class for the list item. I'm going to put a href. We're just going to put a hash, but you can make a link to maybe another page on your website, or maybe Google, or any other external page. And in here we're going to put drop down link one. We're just going to have two drop down links. That's more than enough. Save it, zoom out, minimize. Let's just open this up in our web browser. So there we go. We have our button group. So we got left, middle, right as usual from here these buttons right here but we've also got the button group added and when I click the button group as you can see it drops down but when you just look at the button group it looks like it's a natural addition of the rest of it. It doesn't look out of place, it doesn't look like it's just there and the other parts aren't connected. It's connected and it works really really well. So that's a great way to let's say have something in the header so certain buttons may just take you to different pages so you might have home contact us about us then you might have a drop down which has profile um button so you one, one may say one may say log out one may say go to profile one may say go to settings etc as an extra task see what happens if you put a button group within the header so i just wanted to check that out and see what happens the next tutorial will cover button group vertical variation if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.